The type of stainless steel known as martensitic and used for instruments requiring sharp cutting edges is A. 300 series stainless steel B. 400 series stainless steel C. Austenitic stainless steel D. 200 series stainless steel Answer, B, 400 series stainless steel. The primary function of hemostatic forceps is A, grasping and holding tissue. B, controlling the flow of blood. C, retracting tissues for exposure. D, cutting and dissecting tissues. Answer, B, controlling the flow of blood. The passivation process in instrument manufacturing involves a. Applying a layer of chromium oxide to resist corrosion. B. Polishing instruments to a mirror finish. C. Forging instruments from heated stainless steel bars. D. Adding gold plating to instrument handles. Answer A. Applying a layer of chromium oxide to resist corrosion. An instrument with gold rings on the handles typically indicates A. It is made of titanium. B. It is magnetic. C. It is a disposable instrument. D. It has tungsten carbide inserts. Answer. D. It has tungsten carbide inserts. The instrument used to cut or bite away at bone and tissue is A. A. Hemostatic forcep. B. Ronger. C. Retractor. D. Suction device. Answer, B, Ronger. In instrument manufacturing, the final heating process to harden the instrument is called A, tempering. B, forging. C, polishing. D, passivation. Answer, A, tempering. The instrument designed to drive suture needles to close surgical sites is A. A, needle holder. B. Hemostatic forcep. C. Tissue forcep. D. Scissor. Answer. A. Needle holder. A tissue forcep typically has A. Serrations at the distal end. B. Teeth configurations like 1x2 or 2x3. C. A ratchet mechanism. D. A suction lumen. Answer, B, teeth configurations like 1x2 or 2x3. The instrument primarily used to extract blood and fluids from the surgical site is A. A, retractor. B, ronger. C, suction device. D, hemostatic forcep. Answer, C, suction device. The stainless steel series known as austenitic, more corrosion-resistant but cannot be heat-hardened, is A. 400 series stainless steel B. 300 series stainless steel C. 200 series stainless steel D. 500 series stainless steel Answer, B. 300 series stainless steel An instrument with black rings on the handles indicates that it has A. Tungsten carbide blades. B. Micro grind or supercut blades. C. Stainless steel jaws. D. Serrated blades. Answer. B. Micro grind or supercut blades. The primary function of retractors is to A. Control bleeding. B. Cut and dissect tissues. C. Grasp and hold tissues firmly. D. Expose and visualize the surgical site by moving tissues aside. Answer. D. Expose and visualize the surgical site by moving tissues aside. The passivation layer applied to instruments during manufacturing is primarily composed of A. Nitric acid B. Chromium oxide C. Iron oxide D. Tungsten carbide Answer, B, chromium oxide. A self-retaining retractor example is the A, white lawner. B, mayo. C, kelly. D, halstead. Answer, A, white lawner. The primary function of nail nippers is to A, cut tissues during surgery. B, cut toenails and fingernails. 
C. Grasp and hold small bones. D. Remove lamina during spine surgery. Answer, B. Cut toenails and fingernails. A kerosene runger is primarily used to A. Remove disc or lamina during spine surgery. B. Cut sutures. C. Grasp and hold tissues. D. Retract tissues. Answer A. Remove disc or lamina during spine surgery. When inspecting a self-retaining retractor, a technician should A. Ensure the ratchet mechanism locks properly. B. Confirm the teeth are aligned. C. Check that the lever springs back when pressed and released. D. Verify the suction lumen is clear. Answer. C. Check that the lever springs back when pressed and released. In the instrument manufacturing process, the step that removes excess iron and builds a protective layer is A. Forging B. Tempering C. Passivation D. Polishing Answer. C. Passivation The instrument characterized by a hollow barrel or lumen through the center, often inserted for drainage, is A. A. Suction device B. Cannula. C. Retractor. D. Ronger. Answer. B. Cannula. In instrument manufacturing, the initial step where the material is shaped into a rough outline from heated bars is called A. Polishing. B. Forging. C. Milling. D. Tempering. Answer. B. Forging. To prevent dried blood from damaging surgical instruments post-operation, technicians should A. Use dry towels to cover instruments. B. Separate the rings and ratchets and cover instruments with a moistened towel. C. Immediately autoclave the instruments. D. Soak instruments in saline. Answer. B. Separate the rings and ratchets and cover instruments with a moistened towel. Which of the following solutions should not be used to clean stainless steel surgical instruments? A. Enzymatic foam. B. Detergent-based solution. C. Betadine. D. Water moistened towel. Answer. C. Betadine. Using saline as a soaking or rinsing agent for surgical instruments can A. Enhance sterilization. B. Improve instrument longevity. C. Prevent staining. D. Accelerate rusting and pitting of instruments. Answer. D. Accelerate rusting and pitting of instruments. What is the purpose of performing an eraser test on a surgical instrument? A. To sharpen the instrument. B. To apply a protective layer. C. To clean the instrument surface. D. To determine if discoloration is due to staining or rusting. Answer. D. To determine if discoloration is due to staining or rusting. Using improper cleaning solutions on stainless steel instruments can lead to A. Void of instrument warranties. B. Enhanced corrosion resistance. C. Improved instrument functionality. D. Increased sharpness. Answer A. Void of instrument warranties. Proper sharpness testing of surgical scissors requires that they can A. Cut through fabric material. B. Cut through the distal tips two or three times. C. Bend without breaking. D. Snap easily. Answer B. Cut through the distal tips two or three times. Which method of marking surgical instruments involves using a laser or tungsten stylet to imprint information onto the instrument? A. Tape marking. B. Acid-based etching. C. Laser etching. D. Fused nylon. Answer. C. Laser etching. After applying identification tape to a surgical instrument, technicians should A. Allow it to air dry. B. Autoclave the instrument. C. Immediately use the instrument. D. Wipe off excess tape. Answer. B. Autoclave the instrument. 
Which of the following is a semi-permanent method for marking surgical instruments? A. Tape B. Laser etching C. Acid-based etching D. Fused nylon Answer, C. Acid-based etching Instrument lubrication should be applied to A. The entire surface of the instrument B. Hinged areas or any working components such as a moving or sliding area. C. Only the handle. D. The tip of cutting instruments. Answer. B. Hinged areas or any working components such as a moving or sliding area. Which of the following is not a common solution that can damage surgical instruments? A. Betadine. B. Hydrogen peroxide. C. Neutral pH lubricant. D. Dish soaps. Answer. C. Neutral pH lubricant. If identification tape on a surgical instrument is found to be loose or damaged, the technician should A. Ignore it. B. Replace or remove it. C. Apply more tape over it. D. Soak the instrument in saline. Answer. B. Replace or remove it. Which instrument marking method is referred to as dipping and involves a powder-coated process? A. Tape marking B. Laser etching C. Fused nylon D. Dot peen system Answer. C. Fused nylon The primary role of central service technicians regarding surgical instruments is to A. Use the instruments during surgery B. Maintain clean, and sterilize the instruments. C. Design new surgical instruments. D. Transport instruments to the surgical site. Answer. B. Maintain, clean, and sterilize the instruments. Which solution is identified as the number one cause of long-term damage to surgical instruments? A. Betadine. B. Detergent-based solution. C. Hydrogen peroxide. D. Saline. Answer. D. Saline. Immediately after applying tape to an instrument for identification, technicians should A. Use it in surgery. B. Autoclave it to bond the tape. C. Remove the tape. D. Soak it in saline. Answer. B. Autoclave it to bond the tape. A key step in preventing rust on stainless steel surgical instruments is to A. Soak in saline B. Apply abrasive cleaners C. Remove saline as an early step in the cleaning process D. Use dish soaps regularly Answer. C. Remove saline as an early step in the cleaning process During the inspection of a self-retaining retractor, a technician should ensure that a. The ratchet mechanism locks properly. B. The lever springs back up after being pressed and released. C. The teeth are aligned. D. The suction lumen is clear. Answer. B. The lever springs back up after being pressed and released. Which instrument marking method is considered durable and is usually performed by manufacturers or outside vendors? A. Tape marking. B. Acid-based etching. C. Laser etching. D. Fused nylon. Answer. C. Laser etching. Which of the following is not a recommended tip for protecting surgical instruments from damage? A. Place heavy instruments on the bottom of the tray. B. Stack instruments without space to save space. C. Ensure all curved instruments are curved in the same direction. D. Use metal instrument holders called stringers. Answer. B. Stack instruments without space to save space. 